Hey everyone, welcome back to another part of episode or whatever of Course Party Book of Shadows. Now we're gonna go to the seventh chapter called Meyer. Well, you know, I mean the sixth chapter called Meyer. Now let's do it. Can't believe we're actually this far in the game. The ceiling of a dark gloomy room with flickering uncovered light bulbs. The random bursts of light they showed were were so dim that they were they only just barely lit up the room. The work getting on the ceiling and up to see patterns in it. <laughs> the back of my head hurt. In the same way it would if someone had pulled my hair really hard. I couldn't do anything about it, though. So I just frowned and waited for it to subside. <laughs> what do you guys think of my Yuka voice? Cringy? Yeah, I know. But it's all I can do. I wondered if I could hit my head somewhere. What? That's not what I meant to say at all. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Think I'm a little girl trying to hit my head and stuff and to be like, what if it could actually help? <laughs> no. I wonder if I'd hit my head somewhere. <laughs> I suddenly realized that my feet were touching the ground. And there was a cold sensation all around my back. I must have been lying down on some hard surface. I tried to move, but both my arms and both my legs have gone to sleep, and they wouldn't budge. I just have to keep lying here until they woke up. I gave up on moving and instead just stared up at the gloomy ceiling again. I knew it wasn't actually a person, but it really did look like one, and he was glaring down at me with a hateful expression. He was creepy! Oh, that was it. It looked like the scream, the munch painting we studied in class. Except this face was screaming in anger. He hated me. If <sighs> only well, Yogi Chad was here with me. If only Big Brother was here with me, he'd just pat my head and laugh and tell me how silly I was being. So <laughs> I was still a little disoriented, but I turned and twisted my head as best as I could to manage to see if I could see it, find him anywhere nearby. Why must I sleep in a place like this anyways? Why was a big brother at my side, like he always was? Oh boy. So this is where uh Kizumi kills her then. <laughs> Why were we in this school to begin with? Maybe the charm failed, and this is how our punish- this was our punishment. Maybe I was the one who messed it up. I probably shouldn't have even been there. And if I ever asked him to help me try to find a bathroom, 
We want to be separated right now. I should have just held his hand and not let go. Should I could have lasted a little longer without peeing. And we'd still be together. I remember that. Are we in the science lab? Kizami, Yuya. Kizami. Sorry. This considered huh Jeez. This is considered to be one of the wrong ends. That's not good.
Not good. Why is she so content? Why is she so calm and collected all of a sudden? Why? He was looking at me with a caring, sympathetic smile on his face. Seemed to be really concerned about me. あ。それは僕の縛ったんだよ。大事な妹ともう二度と歯ぐれないようにね。ああ。ひもとって、あの。ちいす、かつ、exactly <笑> what I would do if I was だから僕と離れないようにしっかり縛っておかないと。どうして？君こそ僕の妹なのになぜわからないんだ？ Maybe you just lost your mind and you're deciding that you oh you maybe you already have a little sister because you lost your own. And then you started getting devastated and wanted to kill yourself. And then you found Yuka and decided this might be no pray for a new child to be your new sister and be your siblings and whatnot. No incest problems here, but anyways. <laughs> Forget I ever said incest. I'm not a freak. <laughs> it's sick anyway, so shut up! His eyes looked like they were staring far off into the distance, like he was in a trance. <laughs> Why was he doing this? Why would he tie me up? And why did he look so happy about it? I didn't get any of it. Every hair on my body was standing on end. I was terrified. Oh, stop! Jeez! I can't take the freaking on it cause freaking out of nowhere, my big suck! The corners of my eyes were on fire. I couldn't stop myself from crying. Tears were flowing down my face like a waterfall. Sorry, my voice is cracking up. <laughs> Kizumi smiled and reached out and touched my cheek. His head was ice cold. It was like there was no blood flowing through it at all. But the head was of a dead person. I'm getting really tired of that. So, Boku ni Tamashi no Kagayaki o Misete Kure. Kimi no Subete o Kakete. You know what you could do? You could just, uh... Call for Satoshi. But apparently you don't want to use that name. Why don't you just use Mashita? Oh wait. You just love calling your old brother Onichan, you STUPID! That's not me. That was not me. That was, uh... NNH. Anyways. He slowly and hesitantly took his head off my cheek and began walking around me toward my feet. Then he gently grabbed my skirt with one hand and threw a knife before his breast pocket from his breast pocket with the other. 
<laughs> it's show time. It's show time. Man, I can't even begin to comprehend that how uh, how Japanese people decide that they can actually start doing English words. It must be very hard to do so. Anyways, probably don't care, but let's do it. Hey, get on. So, so did I.僕が求めていたのはその声、その顔だ。恐怖と絶望が頂点に達した時、魂は最高の輝きを放つ。それをもっと見たい。それを僕に向けてくれ。ゆかちゃん、ゆかちゃんならもっと輝けるはずなんだ
。ああ、これかい。心配しなくてもいいよ。少し黒崎で汚れているけど、まだよく切れるから。ああ、黒崎、dead。We all knew it。いい顔だ。僕の妹はいい仕事をする。少し布が邪魔だな。Oh God, no! Um, that's it. I, 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 I'm done with this crap. I